What is up guys, Expert One here, but you can call me Dominic, we are back here with WWE 2K20, my career mode, so, let's do this. I really don't need to hear I told you so right now. All you're gonna hear from me is I hope you're okay. I'll be alright, I just feel so stupid. You're not stupid, you're trusting, and a good person. That's what separates you from people like her. Like, I appreciate it, but... I still can't believe I let my guard down like that. You were right about everything. We'll make her pay for this. I promise. I knew she was gonna turn on me. Oh well, I guess let's do this. Alright, we're backstage right at the moment. Alright. Let's continue story. Welcome to SmackDown Live, where hopefully we're about to get some sort of clarification from Brooklyn Von Braun on last week's shocking turn of events. I am a big fan of movies. Mostly the ones I've starred in, but there are some other ones that are okay too. But in any film, my favorite part is always near the end when the villain explains their big evil plan going over every single detail of how they pulled the wool over the stupid idiot hero's eyes. But in movies, this usually allows the hero time to escape or stop the bad guy in some way. But I'm not gonna be stopped. See, I already destroyed your idiot hero last week with the help of Samoa Joe. So now, I have all the time in the world to walk you through every single detail of my brilliant scheme. Like I said, this is my favorite part. So here we go. When I was GM, I brought Samoa Joe back fully knowing what his plans were for attacking Trey in the best of five final and costing Red her title. In fact, I helped make those plans myself. Then, I gave Trey a title match against Adam Cole just so Joe could eventually take it from Trey. Sorry, Adam. After that, I inserted myself into the mixed match challenge as Trey's partner to earn his trust, giving me the opportunity to teach him the secret Coquina Clutch escape. Only when Joe got it on Trey, and he thought he had it all under control, those ankles weren't crossed, were they? because it wasn't a secret anymore. I told Joe exactly what to expect, and Trey never had a chance. <laughs> now, unfortunately, to make Trey and Red think I had changed for the better, I did have to donate a bunch of money to an animal shelter. But don't worry. I purchased the shelter, kicked out all the disgusting animals, and I'm turning it into the newest location for my tanning salon chain, Brooklyn Von Brown. Which, if you ask me, is a lot more to serve the community. So right about now, your tiny brains are probably asking, but why, Brooklyn? Why would you do all of this? I did this to maintain the hierarchy. To show Red and Trey that despite what they think they've achieved in WWE, I'm the star and they're the losers. Just like it's always been. And that will never change. Anyway, I've spent way too much time talking about those rejects, so let's discuss what's next for the American hero. New trademark lawsuit pending. Well, I have some big news to share. I'm a champion! You see, I recently talked to WWE management about bringing back a title from the past, and they agreed I was the perfect superstar to award it to. So I'd like to present to you, your new WWE Divas Champion, me! You've got to be kidding me. I guess this explains why I was told to inform Red that the Divas Championship was already spoken for. You know, maybe in the future, Trey, you should be a little more careful about who sees your phone. You never know what they could find on there. Like maybe even a copy of a list outlining all their friends' dreams and ambitions. 
All right. Here comes Red. Let's go right now, you and me. I'm a prize fighter, and considering I've got the prize, I decide when I fight. So run along. Maybe there's something else you can cross off your list, like find someone who will take me out on a date, or fix my jacked up teeth. Those are real things on her list. I saw it. I'm coming for you and that title. Look out! Why are you hitting her on the other side? How is that gonna hurt? You wanted this? Well, now you got it. Thankfully, Trey is here to put an end to this. Oh no, Jesus! Obvious, Brooklyn and Samoa Joe are always two steps ahead of Red and Trey. Oh, straight into the corner. And now Brooklyn is going to force Red to watch her best friend get destroyed. Oh no! What are you doing, Joe? Oh, great. What's Joe gonna do? Oh, a big punch to the face. He's enough. Come on, don't do it. Oh no. You're a nagi straight onto the stairs. God damn. That's gotta hurt. Um, okay then. So that's a thing. No wonder the Divas Champion's been spoken for by that. Yeah, let's move on. So what's the verdict? Nothing too serious. I'll just be out a couple weeks. You're lucky. That could have ended your career. It would take a much worse attack than that to end my career. Or being offered the hosting gig on America's Next Top Hand Model, which is the best show on TV, hands down. See? I'm a natural. So, are you mad that Brooklyn saw the list on my phone? I was, but I think I'm over it, considering you almost got snapped in half trying to help me. Besides, I just found out next week I have a number one contenders match for the Divas Championship. So I'm still gonna cross it off the list. Good. At least one of us will be in the title picture. What do you mean? Aren't you gonna use your rematch clause when you heal up? I would if I had one. Turns out one of the other loose ends Brooklyn took care of before she stepped down as GM was removing the rematch clause from my contract. So if I want another shot at Samoa Joe, I'm gonna have to earn it just like anyone else. I know you can do it. But first, you need to focus on getting better. I guess it's just like on America's Next Top Hand Model when Andrea jammed her finger playing volleyball and lost the Christmas engagement ring campaign. It took a lot of hard work and moisturizing, but in a couple months her hand was back in top form and she booked the Valentine's Day spot, which was way bigger than the Christmas gig. I must have missed that episode. I can get you a copy. I have every one of them saved. I think I got the gist of it. Your loss. Okay, sure. Let's do this, I guess. Alright, so this number one contenders match, I guess. Alright, who are we versing? The boss, Sasha Banks, Carl, uh, Carl, we say that one more time. Oh, she actually has the blue hair in this game. I haven't seen it uh, in this game yet. Who's this? Dakota Kai, alright, cool, let's do this. Dakota Kai from Auckland, New Zealand. Okay. Is this who I think it is? Oh, great it is. Yep, oh, great. Oh, this is gonna be fun, a fatal four way match. Win by pinfall or submission, okay, great. I'm guessing this isn't a. What's it called? Is it? Beautiful maneuver. 
No, pick her up. Oh, great. Uh, strike to the midsection. You know what? I might just skip this match as well. Just so you don't have to watch this match go through. Alright, so yeah, I'm going to skip this match. See you when I'm finished. So come on. One, two, three. Let's go, fam. Boom, let's go. Number one contender for the Davis champion. Let's do this. At the Royal Rumble, the WWE Universe will witness a night of firsts. It'll be the first time the WWE Divas Championship has been defended in nearly 15 years. And it'll be the 15 first time these years. Two wow. Rivals step inside the ring and face each other in a one on one match. So, ladies, all that's left is to sign the contract and make this unprecedented night official. Byron, as former GM of SmackDown Live, I conducted quite a few contract signings. And let me just say, you're doing a terrible job. You didn't even give me a chance to embarrass my opponent. Sorry. Now, Byron mentioned this is going to be the first official match between Red and I. But we've had our share of fights over the years. So I wanted to take the WWE Universe back to when Red and I were in high school to see actual footage from our very first fight. Well, it was really more of a one-sided beatdown. This is what happens when you mess with the captain of the wrestling team. How can you say it? Uh, that's terrible. Chair? Put me through a table. I'm going to get help. <laughs> Introduce you to her best friend, Trey. Get it? Because he busted his butt on a lunch tray. <laughs> Trey, Trey, Now her face matches her nickname. Hot head red. Hot head red. Hot head red. <laughs> Please let me beat her ass. On a beta ass. Royal Rumble, Let's go. The next fight is going to end just like they always have. You on the ground, screaming in pain, tapping out to the biggest crossover star in WWE history, the American hero, Brooklyn Von Braun. Please let me beat her ass. Oh, attack Brooklyn, keep you cool. Hell no, I'm gonna beat this woman's ass. Let's do this. You know, I heard a rumor that you were gonna show that footage tonight. So with that in mind, I actually got a gift for you. <laughs> That's cute, but I don't put that high fructose trash in my finely tuned body. It's not going in your body, it's going on your body. Of course. All right, let's go. Come on, put the, oh, come on. Oh, not the sauce again. Oh, great. That didn't work. Well, that was... Dang it, that did not go to plan. Oh well, let's move on I guess. Alright, we're here backstage with Elias or Trey. And I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to see the Royal Rumble. And that will be in the next episode. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button. And subscribe if you want to see some more. WWE 2K20, Mark Rumor. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.